In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up and run JavaScript in Visual Studio Code on Windows 10. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, before we do anything else, there is a prerequisite that we need to do in order to run JavaScript code in our Visual Studio code. And that is we have to download and install Node.js. So for that purpose, open your favorite browser and just right here, download Node.js and hit enter. After that, click on the first link that is this one from the official website of Node.js. So I'll just click on it. So from here, we need to download a file for our Windows operating system and I'll download .msi file and I have 64-bit version system. That is why I'll click on this particular link. It will download a file for us. Click on start download. It will take a very little time. As you can see, it will only take around 15 to 20 seconds. We are done with the download. Now just open this particular program. So I'll just click on open and it is preparing to install it. This is the setup wizard. Click on next, accept the license agreement and again click on next. This is the directory where it is going to get installed. In case if you want to change it, just click on change and go to any particular directory as per your liking. I'll just click on OK because I'm OK with the default directory. Click on next, again click on next. And in case if you want to install the necessary tools along with your Node.js, click on this box. I'll just click on it, click on next. Now just click on install and the installation process has just begun. It will take a very little time. So we are done with the installation of Node.js. I'll just click on finish. Here is a confirmation message. I'll just press my spacebar and we are good to go. I'll close my command prompt. And now in order to confirm if we have successfully installed Node.js or not, I'll press my Windows key and I look for command prompt. So I'll write here CMD hit enter and here I'll write node space hyphen hyphen version hit enter. So we have successfully downloaded and installed version 16. Along with Node.js, we also get to install NPM. I'll write here NPM space hyphen hyphen version and let's see if it got installed or not. So we have successfully installed our NPM as well. I'll just close my command prompt and now it's time to open our Visual Studio code. I hope now that you have installed it into your system. So I'll just open that one. I'll just search for VS code and here it is. I'll just hit enter. So here in order to make sure that your JavaScript files and code runs, there are two ways that you can install some of the extensions because we need to download and install some of the extension here. There are two ways. First one is you can create a file and then it will automatically detect that what type of extension we need to install. Other than that, you can go to your extensions and you can search for it. I'll show you this way. So just go to your extension and click on the search bar and right here, Java script ES6. After that, hit enter. So here we have JavaScript ES code and I'll just click on that one. So after that, just click on this particular install button. It will get installed into your Visual Studio code on its own. In case if you are wondering which one to download and install, you can see this particular has around 8.8 .8 million downloads and this one is from Microsoft and this one has been downloaded 625,000 times. So that shows most of the time people has gone with this one. So I'll have downloaded and installed it into my Visual Studio code and it means we are good to go. So I'll just close this one and now I'll close my extension as well. Now go to your file section and here click on add folder to your workspace or you can directly create a file, but I'll have a folder onto my desktop. So I'll go to my desktop, I'll create a new folder and I will name it as JavaScript or JS. Hit enter, again hit enter and click on add and we are good to go. Now open your explorer and in that click on JS and here we have an icon that says new file. 
I'll name it as skills build dot js. Make sure to enter dot js at the end of your file name because this is the extension for JavaScript code or files. Other than that, you will not be able to run your code. And if you see here, we have JavaScript symbol as well. It means it has detected on its own that this file belongs to JavaScript. Hit enter and we are good to go. Now let's print out a simple message. So I'll write here console.log and in my braces, I'll have my print statement. I'll write here welcome to first program of javascript after that enter your semicolon save your program by pressing ctrl s and now in order to run this program click on this icon that says run code it will run our javascript code and here we have a message that says welcome to first program of javascript so it is confirmed from here that we are successfully running our javascript code and our JavaScript into our Visual Studio code. Now let's have another program or let's edit this program in which we'll take the input from the user. Now in order to take the input from the user, we have to install one thing into our Visual Studio code for our JavaScript and that is prompt dash sync. For that purpose, click on terminal and click on new terminal. In that I'll write here npm space install space prompt dash sync hit enter so it is downloading and installing three packages and we are done with everything in here now we are ready to create a program in which we can take the input from the user so i'll just remove this line and now i'll write here var which is variable space name one equals prompt and in my prompt i'll have the message as enter your first name after that, I'll have my semicolon and again, I'll have another variable and I'll name it as name2 equals prompt and in that, I'll have a message as enter your second name and I have my semicolon in here. In order to print the message, I'll use console.log and in my print statement, I'll have a message as your full name is and after that i'll call my both of variables first one is name one and the second one is name two we are good to go but make sure these are into the brackets so i will remove this one from here and here we are good to go after we add our semicolon now save your program and run this particular code so if i run this so here we are getting an error and this is because we have to include one thing into our program so for that purpose, I'll write here constant space prompt equals require and in that I'll have prompt dash sync and after that I'll have my brackets and I'll have my semicolon and I'll save this program. Now let's try to run this one and here it says code is already running. So for that purpose, I will stop this one and now I will rerun it again. So here it says enter your first name. Now if I try to enter my input, it will not allow me to do so because we have to do one more thing in order to do so. So for that purpose, go to your file section, go to your preferences and click on settings. Search for run in terminal and hit enter. You will see this box that says code runner run in terminal. Just check this one, close your settings and now close your Visual Studio code and reopen it. We have to do it because we have to make sure that all the changes take place. So here we are back with our Visual Studio code and now let's try to run our program. Here our program is running and here it is asking us to enter our first name. So I'll write here Zubair, enter and second name will be Aslam and now I will hit enter again. That shows the output as your full name is Zubair Aslam. And that also shows that now we are able to take the input from the user into our Visual Studio code. So that also brings us to the end of today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.